Sean Farquhar here. I'm going to show you a card trick and tell you a little story. Uh, the story begins in the summer of 1980. I had just moved uh, to British Columbia and I met my first mentor uh, other than my father. His name was Carl Hemian. And uh, Carl uh, was a bus driver. Yeah, I met him on a bus. Uh, he invited me to his home uh, where he hosted uh, meetings of the Victoria Magic Circle, ring number 183 of the International Brotherhood of Magicians. Uh, that night, uh, he was hosting a lecture uh, by a magician named Flip from Holland. And Flip was a well-known magician and, and he was brilliant. And that night, I bought Flip's lecture notes. They were $20. It was all the money I had in the entire world. And when I mean all the money, it was all the money. I couldn't even afford bus fare to go home, which was a big deal. I was like 17 years of age. And home was about five miles away. And the lecture ended around midnight. So that's like a two-hour walk uh, from midnight till two in the morning. Uh, but it was a memorable walk because after the lecture, notes in hand, getting ready to leave, too proud to tell any of the new magicians I just met that I didn't have a way to get home. Uh, Tony Yang, uh, another member of the Victoria Magic Circle, asked me if I'd like to see one last trick before I left. Of course, I said yes. Uh, he performed it for me, didn't explain it, just performed it, and left me with a sense of wonder. In fact, he gave me the playing cards that he used. And he said, here, you can figure it out. And that's what I tried to do on that walk home, which was like easily three hours. Why three hours instead of two? Well, because every time I hit a well-lit area, like a street light or a storefront, I stopped and examined the cards again, working to see if I could reverse engineer what you're about to see. It, uh, I'll remember that day forever. Uh, he held the cards like this. And simply by pushing his finger, the card reversed itself. Yeah, it did on the other side too. It really does. It goes through and it reverses. And yes, it's not just pushing. I can pull and push. It's one card. It's actually connected. And uh, the card it looks like that. Isn't that crazy? I know it's not possible. In the beginning, the cards both face the same direction, uh, like this. And then what happened is I pushed it through and then that card turns over. It's really turning over inside of this uh, makeshift little tunnel that we've made here. I mean, there's no way in the world a card could be printed like this. I mean, that would that would be crazy. <laughs> this is the feeling, hopefully, you're having that I had when I first saw this. Uh, it was just amazement. But he took it one step further. He pulled out the card just about halfway and tore it off. Yeah. And then pushed the remainder of the card back through the tunnel. So when it came out the other side, it was in the opposite direction. Yeah. There was nothing else inside the tunnel. Just this playing card. And what was really crazy was these two were torn in opposite directions, and yet they match perfectly. Isn't that crazy? This was such a fun moment in my life for magic. It just, it just amazed me. And I hope it amazed you too, and that uh, you had a little bit of fun watching this. If you did, uh, hit like, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, let people know. And uh, come back and visit the channel again. If you hit the notifications, it'll tell you when my next video comes up. Uh, but for now, keep well and busy, and most of all, be happy. See you later. Ciao. I think that went well. It was nice to talk about uh, uh, Tony and Carl. Next time I have to talk about John Gillen. John Gillen was another mentor. He had some really cool ideas. Yeah. We should put something at the end like, like Marvel does, you know, where there's like a little bit of extra, and it, it like fools people. We should work on that. What do you think? Oh, you're still here. Hi. Bye.